Children will have access to new COVID booster shots this fall. What parents need to know when we see you back here in 60 seconds. It's it's hugely tragic. It's a huge tragic loss for uh, the firefighting community. Now at 11, another firefighter losing his life while on the front lines. We're learning more about the Oregon man and the dangers of wildland firefighting. Plus, as students get ready to head back to the classroom, health officials are stressing the importance of the COVID vaccine. How a new clinic aims to help children get their shots without overwhelming their senses. Enjoy the cooler days while we have them because I'm tracking another heat wave next week. I'll have a look at your forecast as KECI 9 News at 11 begins right now. Live, local, late breaking. This is KEZI 9 News at 11. Good evening. We begin with some heartbreaking news from Oregon's fire lines. For the second time this year, a firefighter has died while fighting a wildfire in Oregon. It is shining light on the dangers of the job and what conditions firefighters face day in and day out, especially during fire season. Thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm Carly Tinsley. Fire officials say 25 year old Logan Taylor of Talent died just after 4 o'clock on Thursday while working on the Rum Creek Fire in Josephine County. And KEZI 9 News reporter Chris Lindsay leads us off tonight. He's live in the newsroom with our top story. Chris. Well, Carly, we're told he was working the fire just north of Gallus when a tree fell on him. He was on a part of the mountains. And when Jackson County Sheriff's search and rescue team sent a helicopter to take him to the hospital in Medford, he later passed away despite efforts of paramedics. Still to come here tonight, a new COVID vaccine clinic aims to be more inviting for children. We take you inside as the school year starts in just a few weeks. Another hot one out there today. So far, we've had 11 days above average. Your forecast is up next in a few minutes. Watching KEZI 9 News at 11, live, local, late breaking. Watch KEZI 9 September 3rd at 1230 as the Ducks kick off the new season against Georgia. Depend on KEZI 9 News for live local coverage of the Ducks from Atlanta as our new head coach faces off against his old team for the first time. Watch the game live starting at 1230 only on KEZI 9. Then stay with KEZI 9 News for game night at 8 p.m. and complete coverage of the day's biggest games. September 3rd, college football kicks off on KEZI 9 News. Live, local, late breaking. This is KEZI 9 News at 11 with Carly Tinsley and Chief Meteorologist Dylan Robichon. The FDA says children will have access to the new COVID-19 boosters coming this fall. The agency says updated boosters to protect from the BA4 and BA5 strains of the virus will be available by early to mid September. Now there will be doses for adults and children. The FDA has not said what ages would be eligible for the boosters or how long kids would need to wait since their last booster to get the new shots. The FDA said those details are still being worked out.